I mean, there are certain species that w- once a dart goes into the animal, it's, it, it, the dart takes six to seven minutes for that drug to take effect. And in that, in that space of time, an animal can cover a lot of distance. We call it the game census because it's critical to know, you know, what, how many animals of every species we have on the reserve. We have a dedicated week every year, which is normally the first week of June, which is dedicated purely to to our sort of management, capture, and, and movement of of wildlife across the reserve. And we do it for various different reasons. Some animals are being swapped with other animals to bring in new genetics. Um, we have a number of different wildlife breeding projects, um, some of which the progeny will sell on to other reserves. And then we'd also move animals just to keep the genetic mix really healthy across the, across the game reserve. So we have a sort of separate breeding area of about 2,000 acres and where we'll have you know, a specific buffalo bull with a group of cows or roan bull or sable bull or kudu and then those genetics we'll select the best of them and put them on the reserve and the rest we'll sell because we the reserve has to pay you know has to wash its face and our biggest concern is obviously the rhino and being able to be able to fund their you know their protection you know that is that is our biggest challenge One of my my staff members, Leanne Huber, she's very handy. She's married to the vet, uh, Dr. Paul Huber, and they live on the reserve, which is a huge bonus to us because Paul's, you know, one of the most experienced wildlife vets, you know, definitely, you know, in South Africa, and he's been able to advise us a lot, in, you know, with our with the management of, of the wildlife and dealing with, you know, all sorts of crises from injured animals to buffalo or rhino that have been orphaned for whatever reason but you know also giving us guidance and and helping us on the on, on keeping the whole genetic mix and the genetic pool really healthy and strong it's taking this little piece of Africa and taking it back to what it was uh, in doing so obviously managing the wildlife that used to be here, reintroducing the balance between the, gra- the grazers and the browsers and the selective grazers. And then sharing that experience and our love and passion for the land by means of, of taking guests out on horseback, where they can be, you know, when you're on a horse in the environment, you're actually part of the whole experience because on a horse you can get that much closer to the wildlife. I feel very privileged to have been here and been able to um, be a part of all of this. It's just so amazing to be here. It's, it's such an experience. I, I can't really put it in words, you know, it's so, everything's so amazingly beautiful. Today we're going to start with the darting process um, and relocating some roan bulls this morning and then I'll go in with the game viewer and uh, I'll dart one of the bulls. Um, it takes about three or four minutes for the bull to start showing effect and about five minutes for him to go down. We might need to follow him after he's darted with a horse um, to till where he goes down. I'll blindfold him, I'll put some blindfold on and I'll put some PVC pipes on his horns. These roans are incredibly strong animals. We need to keep them on their chest. They can lie on their chest, they can then blow off the gas that they produce in their stomachs and they can breathe normally. And I'm gonna give them a few treatments. I'm gonna give them some dip for the ticks. I'm gonna give them some vaccinations. I'm gonna give them some vitamins and minerals and some antibiotic treatment. So we load them on a stretcher and then from the stretcher, we'll put them into the game trailers. Once they're in the game trailers, 
give the antidote. Uh, once I give the antidote, it's a half a minute and the animal is fully awake again. From there, we'll go to the release site where we're gonna release them on the reserve. We're just gonna do a soft release first. Another camp on the reserve next to our house there for a few months, just for them to form a bachelor group and form a strong bond because we're weaning them now from the herd. So if you just put them on the reserve and they go each their way, they battle. Right, today we're going to be darting giraffe. Uh, we dart giraffe mainly from helicopters because of the terrain that we need to work in. Um, they are unpredictable and uh, we want to work with giraffe as quickly as possible. We've only got about 10 minutes of anesthetic and then they have to be back on their feet. So working with a, with a chopper is the easiest way and the safest way to work with a giraffe quickly. Hello, 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 hello. First year off capture, amazing experience, real privilege to be up close to these beasts, so really amazing. No, I would say like I said, if you want to have an adventure, if you want to come and have a an amazing time and um, and be part of the the ants family. If you, you come as a guest, you leave as a friend. So and and I think that's that's an amazing thing to do. So and the fact is, if you travel with somebody, if you travel alone, you know everybody that is at the lodge become really good friends as well. So um, so like I said, I think it's an experience that anybody that loves horse riding, loves nature, and loves being outside. It's an absolute privilege to be to be um, to be living in a piece of paradise. Uh, it's a great privilege to be be able to create and, and work on creating your own paradise. Um, and then being on a horse is always going to be exhilarating. And the faster, the better. <laughs>